going guys so today I'm gonna uh, uh, I'm gonna teach you guys how to uh, drive a stick shift uh, transmission car so for the case of me uh, this is an, uh, is an Audi is an Audi uh, so I'll just begin with the basics uh, so when you go down here where the pedals are to your extreme right it's right over there guys right there that's the gas pedal the middle one that's the brake pedal and then lastly this right here uh that's the that's the clutch pedal responsible for shifting our, our gears manually so from there we go right here uh we have the stick shift right here and then normally uh before you start a stick shift what you normally do is uh you make sure that uh it's on neutral neutral is in between you see uh this line right here the line right here is neutral so you make sure that it's neutral just uh you, you try uh, uh making it you wiggle it all the way like it has to be like free to move around all the way then you'll be able to know that it's neutral so what i'm gonna do uh is uh so i'm going to show you guys how to start a manual transmission car and then how to drive it how to let it drive all the way so to begin, uh, what, what you need to do is uh, you have to insert your key. You have our key right here. You get the key right in there. And then how you start the manual transmission is you have to step on the clutch all the way, all the way then. Then what you do is you step on the brake too. And then you release your handbrake. Or you can start the car first. So once the car starts, then you can release the handbrake. You release the handbrake then what, what we do next is uh, we shift the, to the to the to the, uh, to the gear we want to shift it which is gear one so gear one we bring it all the way here and then engage it like that that's gear one so this is where the tricks now is so what happens is uh, right here just watch my legs closely uh, what you do here is uh, you release slowly the clutch pedal very slowly very slowly you have to be careful guys you be very attentive and once you've released like that and then you feel the engine shaking then you take your leg slowly out of the uh, out of the brake pedal and then uh, what, what, when you take out you start noticing the car is starting to move and then you drive you put on, you put you put you, you put on the gas then you just uh, put the gas lightly then you step on it then the car starts moving so you see gentlemen my car is moving now because I stepped on the gas so the same thing so uh, the same thing applies to the second uh, when we shift to the second gear so you come back there I step also on the clutch and then I come here I put uh, number two right there put gas because I'm uphill I have to put more gas and then it has to move like that so you do that uh, frequently but when you come to a stop you have to downshift you have to downshift downshift means you go back to gear number one because when we start right here is a hill so we have to apply gear number one a stronger gear we do the same thing right down there we release the clutch almost all the way you feel the engine shaking you apply, you apply gas and then the car starts rolling so uh I think that's that's it. Every time you stop, you make sure you step on the clutch all the way and the brake to avoid rolling. So for this now, we move forward. So once we do that, we go forward. I release again the same way. I, see, I feel the engine shaking. Then I step on the gas. And then we can begin now to, to, to drive. So we'll be all good to drive. So there we go. Okay.
when you're coming to a complete stop, you have to make sure all your gears have been downshifted. Then the brake and clutch, then make it seem free. Then put the handbrake on. Then you can release the brake.